Hey there, pre-cal students. So I wanted to make a YouTube video uh, to help you work with vectors a little bit and just show you a couple of shortcuts. Uh, in this video, we're going to take the vector that you see I've called V. Uh, the magnitude of this vector is 5, meaning the length uh, of the arrow is 5, and the angle that that vector makes is 120 degrees. So the, uh, we draw angles for vectors the same way that you do on the unit circle starting from the positive x-axis. And what we would like to do here is find component form of the vector. We want to find x and we want to find y. Well, all that takes is a little bit of uh, right triangle trigonometry, or really, I guess, it's unit circle trigonometry, but we know both, so that's fine. So if I want to find the component x, we know that the cosine function is uh, the adjacent over hypotenuse in a right triangle. So here we have the cosine of 120 is x over 5. And then if you solve for x, you get x equals 5 times the cosine of 120. Now since 120 is a nice unit circle angle, we know what the value is. Uh, if we didn't, we could type it into a calculator. Uh, the cosine of 120 is, uh, is negative a half, so that means x equals negative 5 over 2. It makes sense for x to be a negative number here because uh, we've drawn this vector starting at the origin and then we're going to the left, meaning x should be a negative number. Now to find the component y, we do almost exactly the same thing, except the sine function is opposite over hypotenuse, so the sine of 120 is y over 5. And then if you solve for y, you get y equals 5 times the sine of 120. Consult your unit circle, use a calculator, use your memory. Uh, the sine of 120 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2, so that means y is 5 square root of 3 over 2. This is a positive number. It makes sense that it should be a positive number because uh, the second component, the y component, is going up above the axis. Now the shortcut that most books will tell you, which is worth remembering if you're, if you're doing any work with vectors, is that um, the adjacent side, and that's what x is here, is uh, the magnitude of the vector times the cosine of the angle. And then the opposite side is the magnitude of the vector times the sine of the angle. Uh, if you're doing a whole lot of work with vectors, just having this memorized that adjacent side is magnitude times cosine, opposite side is magnitude times sine, um, these are worth knowing. So if you already knew this, you go back to the beginning, and if you want to know what x and y are, you just say, well, I know x is 5 times the cosine of 120. I know that y is 5 times the sine of 120. Now that's basically it when it comes to component form of a, of a vector and getting that from polar form. Um, but I want to show you a little trick that you do have to be careful when you're using. So I'm just going to freehand this uh, really quickly. Let's say that you were talking about uh, this vector that I'll draw really quickly. So let's say we have this vector that has magnitude 5. And uh, let's see. Let's say that we have an angle, but because of the diagram that we were working with, let's just pretend for a moment that it was natural to talk about this angle. We knew that this was a 45 degree angle. Now, if you consult most pre-cal textbooks, what they will tell you to do is spend a minute, do whatever you have to do to find this angle in red. Well, if you're lazy like me, you might not want to do that. So here's a little, here's a little shortcut. I can use the 45 degree angle. I can ignore my pre-cal textbooks advice, not find the red angle. I can use the 45 degree angle. So I can say this adjacent side, okay, the adjacent side is 5 times the cosine of 45 degrees. And this is the opposite side. I can say that this opposite side is 5 times the sine 
of 45 degrees. And this is almost correct. It's not correct, it's almost correct. I just have to look at this diagram carefully and realize that this side is, is okay, but this side is going down, which means this component should be negative. But the sine of 45 degrees is a positive number. Multiplied by five, it's still a positive number. So what you have to do, if you want to ignore your pre-cal books instructions and not find this standard angle in red, if you want to use some more natural angle, you just have to pay attention to that and realize you might have to go in and manually make one of these sides negative. So since this side goes down, I know this side has to be negative. I have to go put the negative in myself because if I'm using an acute angle like this, like 45 degrees, in the first quadrant of the unit circle, everything's going to be positive. So I just have to go in and put the negatives in myself. So when you're drawing diagrams with vectors, if you want to use nice simple angles, you are allowed to do that, but again, you do have to be careful and uh, uh, put in the negative signs where they need to be. Anyway, uh, that should help when you're working with, um, with vectors. Once again, just remember adjacent side is magnitude times cosine. Uh, opposite side is magnitude times sine, and be careful of your negatives. Anyway, I hope this helped. I'll be making another video uh, to help you out with, uh, with some word problems in a little bit.